the first thing on top of mind right now after you come off the field and, and you lose a game that you feel like you should have won? Uh, just frustration, uh, just personal frustration, knowing that I maybe could have done more, knowing that I know that our team is a lot better than that. We got more in store for some reason, just not, not putting it together. So, it's, yeah, it's just frustrating. Where was the ultimate breakdown today, in your opinion? Um, I don't know why we, it seemed like we came out a little flat after half, and then that, that fumbled punt definitely hurt. But I mean, we still had, we still had opportunities the whole game. Just couldn't get it done. I th what was the play call on fourth down in that last gasp effort down at the goal line to try and win the game? Um, I ran a corner, and then we had the inside receiver on a five yard in, the other receiver on like a hitch to five yard in. Um, and I don't know if the receivers were trying to get to the sticks or not, but I feel like in a critical situation, maybe they're just trying to get in quick and break a tackle. Um, but yeah, just we, we didn't get to the, to the first down mark. So we just, yeah, that was, that was a call. I know that you don't want to make excuses. So where does it need to change for the team overall, specifically on offense? Uh, we just need to finish drives. I mean, we were, it's kind of the story of our season. We like, we show glimpses, uh, glimpses of really good football where we're driving down and then we just don't finish in the red zone. And then giving up seven points instead of, I mean, getting three points instead of seven points is a, is a huge thing. And we, we did that too many times and we just can't, we can't do that anymore. What do you do to rally your teammates and yourself and the guys in the locker room? Because it kind of feels like you're completely up against it now. Yeah, I mean, we just need to get back, learn from our mistakes, and we still have quite a few games. We've got some tough ones coming up, and just as a team, we, we, can't, we can't shy away or give up. So um, just encouraging teammates, coaches to focus and just keep going. Why do you feel like your quarterbacks, regardless of who's out there against Boise State, can get it done, whether it's Jaron Hall or Baylor Romney or Joe Critchlow? Um, I just think if we we put up a good scheme for those guys, a good game plan, um, I mean, they're, they're athletic guys. They all make plays in practice, and they've, I mean, all of them now have playing experience, including Joe, a couple years ago. So, I mean, as long as we, we get open for them, we should they can make the throws, so that's that's just what we got to do. Who's the leader that needs to step up in the locker room and help things get back on track, whether it's a coach or a player? Um, I mean, I think I could be more vocal. Just, uh, I mean, I'm trying to do that. It's just, I'm more of a lead by example guy, but that's definitely something that I'd say I need to do, just to keep our teammates, keep our teammates up, and just show how much this means to all of us that we don't want to. We hate losing, and it's really frustrating, so we're just trying to figure it out. Well, Matt, it certainly shows a lot of maturity for you to be out here after a tough loss like that, and we thank you for your time. No problem. Thanks.